Wow. Oh, and we're back so soon for workout 14. You guys all came from workout 13 because I'm laying down the path. You're all following in order. There's no picking favorites. Remember the four week, the eight week program. There are absolute waste of time. Fitness for life. I want to build the Peacock Army tough. No complaining. Short workouts, long workouts. Just eat it up. Go in order. Let's do it today. Here we go. This is on the board. Three parts are all eight minutes each again. We have the am wrap. Again, we're finishing the hinging and the push pattern. So now we're on squatting and pulling. Am wrap is going to be 10 squat, five reverse lunge per leg, five pull ups with the band or without, or you're doing the banded pull downs because you don't have that damn bar yet. And 30 mountain climbers is 15 per leg. We're going to go round and round and round for eight minutes. Okay, I'll throw a one minute water break on. You guys rest as long as you need. You can pause the video if needed. The EMOM, every minute on the minute starts after that. Dumbbell thruster, we actually haven't done yet. They're as bad as burpees, I always say. And bicycle crunch, we're gonna start with three thrusters, 10 bicycle crunch per side, and we're gonna add one rep and add five per side on the crunch. So that goes up, escalating every minute for eight minutes. Last one, as fast as possible, maybe you finish inside the eight minute cap. Dumbbells needed. 20 jump squat, 20 bent over row, and 20 flutter kick per leg, three sets only. So that's a drag race, finish as fast as you can. Okay, that all being said, let's just do a rehearsal of the movements, just two reps of each, and we'll get into this workout. Okay, this warm up, I wanna go as quick as possible, so we're just rehearsing the movements. If you need more time, feel free to always pause the video, do a little pre-warm up so you can hit this video nice and sweaty. You need your pull-up bar or a band mounted high to something to do the pull down pattern, mat and two light dumbbells. So our squats, let's just do four or five of those are bodyweight squats starting now. Dropping in, this is gonna be speed bodyweight squat, throw your hands in front, push up to straight, in front, up to straight. That front throw gives you counterbalance so you can sit down and up, no problem. Always reverse lunges quicker, alternating, not having to fall forward into a lunge. Three and three, good. Five pull up, we'll just do two. So I got the bar here, full chest to bar down, chest to bar down, or you guys are looping into something high using your biggest power band. Uh, I don't know what color it might be, but it's the thickest one for that style pull up. You're faking it off a power band. And then mountain climber on the floor. If you guys see me back here, Okay, some people like to put their feet down. We're gonna just hover and float and you're really weighted onto the wrists. So the knees almost go through your arms like a uh, goal post. Perfect. Dumbbell thruster. Dumbbells up. Full squat, use your legs to push the weight up. Full squat, push up, one more, down and up. Awesome. Onto a mat. Okay, bike crunch always ends up being a little sloppy. There's a bunch of ways to do it. You can just fully lay on your back and pedal. You can be up in a V-sit, which I'll try to do. So just do about five or six of those per side. When you're dying, you're for sure gonna wanna be down like this. But remember, all core moves follow that same upper body's in a hollow. We're not dead relaxing on the ground. Piece of cake there. Okay, mat away for a sec. Almost through it, that's how fast I wanna to go today. Dumbbells back up in your hand. Okay, the jump squat, don't let your dumbbells get in the way. Just load a little bit, let's do five. Just leave the ground. And these are gonna be with hopefully heavier dumbbells later. Boom, into your bent over row. Like so, we've done a lot of these before. And again, if you don't have the pull-up bar, I'll eventually stop saying it, but you're stuck into the bent over row. Good. And then last is gonna be our little flutter kick on the floor. Okay, so that's the same thing. Knees back bracing if you need to, or you're in your hollow. Again, we always live in a hollow and it's quick. Boom, 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 boom per side, hands can be overhead to make that way more challenging. And that's basically it, that's what we're in for for the next 24 minutes. So 
Let's get your body ready and your pull-up bar ready or pull station ready with the power bands. That's all we need for the first eight minutes. AMRAP round and round as fast as we can. Okay, we're almost ready to go for part one, the AMRAP. Keep your towel close, keep your water right near you. I have my body weight squat ready, reverse lunge five per side ready, an emergency pull-up band for my pull-up bar, but I'm gonna try to go body weight, chest to bar, remember, always a full range of motion, and then 15 per leg mountain climber on the ground. My advice always, never go too hard and redline yourself. You always wanna keep that nice steady gear through, push at the very end if you know you got some gas left. So 10 second timer starts the round, and here we go. 10 seconds ready to go. Get ready for your speed body weight squats. Throw your arms in front. Here we go. Go, drop down. One, full depth. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Reverse lunge. Alternate. One, two, Three. Hands off the knees, no knee touching. Unless you absolutely have to hold on to something, that's fine. Oh God, I think I was six per side. Good. Five, pull up, I'm trying to go strict. One, down, two, down, three. You guys might have to run across the room to wherever your bar is, that's fine. Boom, there it is and 15 mountain climber per leg. Get right on top of your wrists. Twenty. Boom, there it is. That's a round. Decide if you need rest or not. That was a little too quick for me to sustain. Let's go again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, that burn's gonna get real. One, one. Remember, keep that six out of ten gear. Don't get up into the red burning hot gears. Five, five, good. Quick transition for me to the bar. Go run to yours. You're not on my pace. You do you. I'll do me. One, two, three, Ooh. four. Try not to kip. There it is. Mountain climber. Five. 10, 15, Ooh, okay, sweat showing up, sweat showing up, two rounds complete, Ooh, two and a half minutes in, go round three, Three. These aren't jumping lunges, so you don't have to jump between them. Get the knee to touch the ground softly. That trains you to put the brakes on so you're not slamming. Okay, mountain climber. Okay, don't be bumming the air like this. You got to commit over the wrist. Fourteen, fifteen. Oh, three rounds done. Ooh, we're running about a minute ten per round. That's fine. Ooh, this is quick, so you want to keep that intensity up. Get uncomfortable. Try not to stand around too long. Start opposite leg. Right. 
fold right on top of that front leg. Don't get back into this awkward position. Stay on the front leg. Front leg does work. Ugh. Mountain climbers. Just keep rigid. Fifteen. Is that four rounds? I think we're done four there. Three twenty to go. Woo! Can I get two more? Let's see. Oh shit! I missed pull-ups. Five pull-ups. Ah, or got the pull-ups. Got the pull-ups. That one felt too easy. Start my ten squats again. Eight, nine, ten. Oh, I lunges back so soon. Pull ups back so soon. One, two, three, four, five. Chest touch bar, mountain climber. Okay, no break. Oh, a minute 45. I can get round six. Recording? Down. Sweat out. Down. Two. Two. Three, three, four, four, five, five. Those are awful. Taking some air. Oh boy. Run to your bar, run to your band. One, two, three. Four, five, down. Fifteen, and I wanted to get the ten squats with twenty seconds left. Eight, nine, full height. Ten, one, one, two, two. Woo! Okay. So my score would have been six rounds plus two lunges per side. So that's how far you know you made it into the seventh. So you can comment below to keep your score. That might be an easy way to always come back and find it and maybe not okay one minute water break pause it if you need longer and we'll get ready for the emom you need two heavier dumbbells i'm going with 30 pounders and a mat for bike crunch get your breath back
Okay, we're back from that short break into part two is the EMOM. Same things, every minute on the minute, ascending, we're gonna add one extra rep. If you can't keep adding the reps, stay at the rep you're at. If you can't hold it, drop down a rep. So it's heavier dumbbells, you should be at eight pound dumbbells each hand all the way to about 40 pounds per hand to make it really tough and a mat. I'm gonna hit start and it's a 10 second countdown and we go. Start. Okay, starting with three thrusters only. These are horrible. Dumbbells up. Three, two, one, go. Full squat, use your legs to press. Full squat, legs to press. Full legs to press, set them down. Drop your mat. Okay, we're into that bike crunch. Oh, I tucked my mic in. Now you guys are probably ahead of me. Okay, trying to hold that V-sit. One, one, two, three, four, five. Pedal your legs. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. Easy. That's it. Okay, so remember that rule. Do you fire as fast as you can to give yourself a rest? Or do you slow your pace? Stretch out that minute so your intensity stays down. We're going again in 10 seconds. Okay, get your dumbbells ready. Now it's gonna be four thruster, 15 per leg, bike crunch. Go. Sorry, we're up. Down. Press. Down. Press. Down. Press. Down. Press. Four thruster. Bike crunch. Remember, easier is laying on your back in the hollow position, harder is V sit. Five, five. Ten, ten. Three, four, five, five. Fifteen per side. Oh. If that gets you, remember, just roll back, stay in the hollow on the ground. It's still gonna challenge you as long as your back is curled off the floor. 10 seconds to go. For fives. Four, three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five. Five of those. I'm gonna have to start or stop talking to get moving here. 20, go. Twelve per side. Nineteen. Twenty. Oh. Okay, I just gotta get up and in position. Fifteen seconds. Fifteen seconds. Are you on the wire already? Remember, if you can't make the round, you sustain the round. If you can't sustain, you drop back down. Three, two, one, up. Six is. One, two, three, four, use your legs, five, six, Woo. 25 per leg, ten, Twenty, five, ah, ah, oh, 12 seconds. The sweat is real. Ugh. On to sevens and 30. Four, three, two, one, go. Two, three. Four, five, six, seven. This might be my, my last round here. Oh. 
15. Ah, oh, my shoulders. Oh, I'm going back. Thirty. I just made that. We're into the next round. Oh, so I'm falling behind. Still gonna try for seven here. I can't move forward. Okay, I'll try the easier version. Twenty two seconds. Can't do it. Can't do it. I'm cut. So I gotta go back down to sixes. Oh, two, two rounds to go. Whoa. Spinning my mic around is costing me eight seconds a round. I'm way behind. I'm already 15 seconds behind. Two, three, four. Five. I'll just do five. 30 seconds to go. And 20 here. Per leg. Eight seconds to go. So I'm surviving. I'm surviving with five and 20. Last minute starts. I know I got that eight second buffer. One more time. Don't get sloppy. Up five for me. Those go down. I am sweating. Oh, baby. 28 seconds to go. Fifteen. Big bicycle kicks. Oh, two, one, boom. So that was tight. You saw what happens, can't make it through. You get kicked back the round, can't do it. Get kicked back to the end. Okay, minute water break in the video, but you take as long as you need. We're getting ready for heavier dumbbells or same dumbbells, jump squat, bent over row, and flutter kicks, more core. See you in a sec.
Okay, we're back for the third final circuit, the eight minute AFAP, as fast as possible. This is where you get to drag race your buddy, leave them in the dust. If I finish before you, keep going. If you finish before me, lay there, recover, and applaud my efforts as we go. All right, so you got your two heavy, kettle, or two heavy dumbbells for 20 jump squat, straight into 20 bent over row. Try not to put the dumbbells down that whole time, and then on your butt for the flutter kicks, go really quick, 20 per leg. Three sets and then we're done. So 10 seconds to start and we'll get into this. Here comes the countdown. I'm picking my bells up early. Don't jump high, just get off the floor. Two, one, begin. Halfway, oh crap. Oh, wow. Okay, 20 bent over row. A little narrower stance, proper hinge. Halfway, here comes the heart rate. Two minute break was not enough. Remember, do not red line or you're gonna be bonking later. Slowly pulling my mic around, sit on your butt. Get in the hollow. Twenty per leg. Excellent. Okay. I'm just gonna give myself a sec. That was a minute fifteen. Those squat jumps gassed me. So I'm gonna let my legs recoup before I start full speed into this next set. And don't worry, there's always someone blasting through, going faster than you. Every class I taught, the first three to finish, I go over and penalize because I probably knew their form was crap. The fourth, fifth, and sixth of them are honest finishers. Here we go. Oh, here comes the surge. Try to just stand with them. Now you got light at the end of the tunnel. It's only one of those more. Narrow stance, so your dumbbells have room to pass by. Straight back. Ten. Oh, the flutter's a joke compared to that. I want to make this go a little longer. Ah, sweat. Hollow. Remember, if your low back isn't pinned into the floor, you're doing it wrong, you're too weak, you have to resort to a braced, easier option. You'll just credit card, you know, in plastic, you can keep going until there's a crease. You'll just keep doing that until you have no integrity left 
in that portion of your spine. I'm buying myself time. Here we go. 3.40 to go. Plenty of time to safely get through a third set. So I'm going to milk a few seconds. It is as fast as possible. If you want to keep that psychology, I can just die on the floor the second I'm done this round. So it pushes you to just get into it and start. Here we go. My third final set. Those aren't big jumps, they're more like credit card squat jumps. Narrow your stance. Uh, done with those. Oh. Two minutes for me to finish the proper flutter. Oh, you guys hanging on? You're hanging with me? Oh. I assert you can get that hollow. I can hold it. Core, floor your core into your spine. Lock your legs. No flicking from the knees. Ah, finish time. 1.30 to go. So it was a six and a half minute effort. If you guys are still going, rush, go right down to the bell, complete it, or record, record how far you got in the eight minutes. Okay. So like I said, I wanted to do two quicker workouts because we have the monster workout 15, the special workout. I can tell you guys now is the infamous decades old Yale rowing barbell workout or workout test. So get pumped. That's coming up next workout 15. Until then, you know the deal. Share it with your friend. Tell a friend you're doing it. Inspire yourself, inspire others. Build that peacock army one person at a time, and I'll see you back for workout 15. But not, new, not your new friend. They got to go to the beginning. Send them back. Okay, see you guys.